This week on Bean Stuff. Coffee substitutes. Are there any that are actually any good? It's not offensive. Mildly pleasant. On the coffee alert, no. Let's cup up. There's no coffee in this. <laughs> this is really bitter. Yeah. Books dropped in a chemical vat. Wow, yeah, is that? Oh, man. just suck on a barley. The the barley. barley. Oh, a nightmare of pneumonia. <sighs> it's mm. not coffee. I feel a bit sick. Welcome to Bean Stuff. Today on the podcast, we're doing something a little bit different mm-hmm. yet again. Yeah. Thank but uh, w- what we wanted to do today is we wanted to figure out coffee substitutes. Are there any that are actually any good? And Dad, what do we mean by any good? Well, that's a good question because uh, originally I was thinking, are there any coffee uh, coffee substitutes that actually taste like coffee? Yeah. They may, they may not. Uh, and secondly, if they may do or don't. Do they taste any good? Then what we're going to do for each of these coffees, we've got three of them here today, or I guess they're not coffees, they're something else. Yeah. Um, we're going to smell it. And I think we're, we're going to do obviously dry and wet. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we're going to slurp it. We're going to talk about it. Mm-hmm. And then we're going to score it. Whoa. One being the worst, Exciting. five being the best. So the first one that I've got on my side here is Cafix. Uh, C-A-F-I-X. Mm-hmm. And uh, this one is a roasted barley, right? chicory sugar beets so mm-hmm. sorry rye chicory and sugar beets um it is there's no coffee in here at all mm-hmm. and you did a little bit of research on the the caffix is that correct dad oh i i did just a quick glimpse because yeah i've really not had much of these before so this is a new, you haven't new, had any of these before this is a new territory <laughs> for me right so, uh, yeah, I mean, the Carefix, the first thing I look at, I thought, it looks like instant coffee. You know, the first thing I thought was that it said Carfix. <laughs> okay, well, it may be for a good Carfix too, but... But you said it looks like coffee. It looks like, and it, then I looked at this, I think it's freeze-dried, um, which is, you know, a little more modern. Whoa, it's going up there. Hold it up to a camera. And uh, I, I was reading a little bit, a, a, a jar of Carfix crystals... It's interesting now, I'm saying crystals. Cafix. Yeah, it's Cafix, not yeah. Carfix. A jar of Cafix crystal will always serve you well when you need a quick fix that involves the taste of Joe without any caffeine or acidity. Um, you get with the actual Java beans. Which is so funny because we've talked about in a lot of other podcasts episodes about acidity not being you know, all these things that aren't bad but are labeled as yes. bad. So it's interesting. <laughs> I like it. It's got all natural ingredients. That's what it says. And it is 100% caffeine-free. It is. And I love that the last one here I've got here was it resembles Folgers in taste. It's or about not that. something I don't know. I wouldn't advertise, I personally. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's and an interesting uh, selling point. Folgers in taste. Yeah, what does that Folgers taste like? What do they think of as, yeah, what do they think about Folgers? Beets? Sugar beets. Sugar beets. Is that like, is that what I call a uh, uh, red beet? I, I don't think so. No, I don't think so either. I have, actually have no idea, though. No, I wrong. could be completely wrong. <laughs> Anyone out there, do you know what sugar beets are? Because yeah. we don't. <laughs> yeah, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dad, let's go ahead and sniff it first. Okay. It's not offensive. Yeah, it's, you know, it's it's surprisingly unoffensive. Right. It's, it was very mild and actually mildly pleasant. It doesn't smell to me mm-hmm. really at all like coffee. Uh, no, I wouldn't be able to put that on the flavor wheel. You know, it's funny. In our, I keep going back to it, but our last episode, we we drank some of the canned coffee, mm-hmm. and we said some of it had like a barley taste to it. That's right. This one literally has Is. barley in it, <laughs> <laughs> and it, it has kind of a similar smell to that taste. Okay. Well, well, yeah. Dad, let's try something crazy, okay? What, what are you going to do? I want you to take a little nobule of that. Oh. And we'll, we'll Just, uh, oh. all right, let's take a little bit. Okay, sink it. So that's the dry stuff. What does that taste like? Barley, <laughs> chicory, <laughs> but it it's has like a it's, molasses smoky. It does, and it's got a, a sweetness to it as well. It, which is funny because we just took a small granule. Wow, granule. Mm-hmm. I can imagine if there's a lot in a cup of coffee, or <laughs> I keep saying that, but <laughs> if there's right. a lot in your cup, that that could be very sweet. Well, let's, let's try some of this. So stuff. we've got a jug next to us here, and we may be cutting out, you know, waiting for it to boil. But we're gonna have it next to us. We're gonna boil it for each. I better read cup. what it says. Um, yeah, and I guess real quick, how, what does it say for the directions yeah. of this one? This Stir is one or more teaspoons of Cafex crystals into a six-ounce cup. Very hot, not boiling. 
if desired, add milk or sweeten to taste. Sweeten to taste. It's just a... All right, I'll grab the jug here. And again, we might be cutting things in and out so you don't have to wait for the jug to boil, but we are boiling it each time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. One thing that we had talked about before that, we are are recording this uh, later at night. Um, And one thing we had said was funny is we're actually drinking these, which are all decaf, (laughs) which is perfect for this evening. So it might be a reason you might want them. I might just be... I might just drop off here. <laughs> All right. So let's first. go. Let's take a sense. A sense. Sensory. Yeah. I, ooh, it smells worse. Yeah. I, I it smells <laughs> worse. Did you stir mine? I did. Oh, thank you. That's right. It smells much worse hot. Yeah. I think, I think I'm not sure that's the worst thing, but the, you, you know, know what it smells like? Mm-hmm. Take a smell as I'm saying this. Mm-hmm. Marshmallow that's fallen in the fire. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like it's yeah, almost like burnt yeah. wood and it's just a hint of uh, sweet marshmallow. Yeah, I'm getting definitely the uh, is it chicory that said it was in here. I mean, I've tasted chicory just by itself before. Yeah. But uh, I'm just seeing what it says. I can't. It does have chicory yeah, in there. Yeah. Where does it say what it's in this little number down here? Oh, barley. Rice barley. and chicory. Chicory. And those root things, we don't know what they so, are. So let's take a sip. Oh, well, well, hold on. So we've we've smelt it. Well, that was close. I nearly took a sip. <laughs> All right. So yeah, let's let's slurp it. And let's take it easy. This is yeah. pretty hot. I quite like that. You know what's the most off-putting piece of this whole thing mm-hmm. is the color. I think if this was a more like brown, like you would expect, like a hot chocolate to look like, it, it would more, be more appetizing. It's looking more blackish, isn't it? Yeah. It, 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 you make it, it, it. You expect it to be like dark black coffee. The aftertaste, I like the aftertaste. It's got this like this sweet aftertaste to it. But up front, it's got all the things that says are in there. But it's it's definitely, I don't really taste any coffee. Uh, on the coffee alert, no. There's nothing to <laughs> on alert On the scale to. of coffee, <laughs> it's, it's more just like an interesting drink than it is a coffee. I, like I wouldn't say, oh, this is a great replacement for coffee. This is... You're right. It's and, an intriguing kind of... And I, I was thinking that when I first re- had the topic coffee substitutes, I thought, well, what's going to be like coffee? This one's not like coffee. I would, I would give that a... Well, I'd give that a zero. As a coffee substitute, it fails. As a coffee, Sub- emphasis on the word coffee, right. and I would agree. I don't get any coffee flavor, which makes sense because there is no coffee in that. Zero. Zero. Sorry. Let's uh, Let's cup up here. So what's the next one we got? We're gonna there? go the uh, uh, Pero. Let's go for that one. That's what, cop- what do we have in Pero? Well, these are we just got these from the local supermarket again. Mm-hmm. In fact, it was a little harder to find than I thought. Yeah, it's not as common as you would think. And we had to the mm. third one we're going to get into. We took a little further afield to even get a, a third example of it coffee was, substitute. It was funny how difficult it was to get. And again, it's not something we look for really ever. But no. but what do we have in this uh, specific one? What what ingredients are in here? Oh. The Pero barley, a malted barley, chicory, rye, and nothing else. And nothing else means there's no coffee in this, right? So again, it's it's very similar to this cafex, but there's no uh, sugar beets in this one. That's right. right in this Pero. And as the other one, that's it's Pero. Doesn't that mean dog in Spanish? I, I mean, don't it, does. Read. it does. Okay, it's missing an R. But... It's, I believe this is made in uh, Germany. I think. Yeah. Well, that's an interesting Germany. point out. This it, one here. Where was this? This was, was made in Poland. Poland. So interesting. It may have been once being brought. I'm opening this up, by the way. This reminds me of the old instant before freeze dried, like the Cafex looks like, yeah. and is. Uh, this looks like the old instant. I would call it Nescafe instant. If I looked at that, I would. If I before I smell it, have a look. What do you think? Oh yeah, you know what? it's interesting. Yeah, it's got an interesting here. Let's let's show the camera. And what's it smell like? I'm not saying anything. <laughs> I saw the smile read. <laughs> it this smells like the person at work. Oh, good night. Yes, that needs to have a shower, <laughs> and you have to have a conversation with. Who do you work with? <laughs> <laughs> to everybody I work with, this is none of you. This doesn't have the other one. The Cafex had a, a sweet note, and when I first saw this one. It's got a, an awkwardness to it. I it it, it doesn't foul. smell good. You know, it almost smells like old books at the thrift shop. Yeah, and now that's open it up and the yeah. the dust of years gone by. It does. It's uh, that's why I'm saying foul. But all right, there. Let's do a pinch. Oh, we're gonna do that. I know we're doing this tonight. Here we go. A little pinch. But pinch of pinch pyro. Of, pinch of pyro. <laughs> Whoa. 
Much worse. Oh, that's really strongly. You know, it's funny. I can totally bitter. see why they say it's good with creamer. I think it. <laughs> I think you might have to have creamer with this. <laughs> this is really bitter. Because there's nothing really that great about that. You know, it's funny. Look at this. It says for a Perro iced cappuccino, it has Perro. Four tablespoons of heavy whipping cream, one <laughs> tablespoon of vanilla extract, two teaspoons of sugar. I could. Wow, that's a lot of substitutes you're putting in the substitute. All right, so let's <laughs> let's 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 de- deal ourselves okay, some, of this, uh, I, some of this. I delicious like to apologize brew. to Flag and Wire. I'm putting this in your cup. So it's a one heat teaspoon. I'm one heat teaspoon. I put like two. Oh, I'm just gonna do one. Man, I'm not brave like you. I funny enough in tasting this. It reminded me that I've had it once before. It may be like 20 years ago, but the taste reminded me. It was bad enough to it, have you remember it. came it. back immediately. Like, oh, yeah. I remember, I thinking, I remember that time 20 years ago. Oh, this is going to be a good subject. I can have this and coffee. And I very quickly realized that wasn't going to happen. Ooh. Even the smells you stir that is potent. Mm. Look at that. It's That's got like so. a. Some people might call that a crema, but it's not. I don't know if anyone in the camera world can see that, but look at that. That's like, I mean, it looks. You know, it's not a crema at all, but it, it, it's ish. Like well, some it, people get excited. They crema. would say, yeah, it is imitation. Some would get very excited by that. Oh, look, it's like coffee. It's doing exactly the same as coffee. It's not doing the same. That's not from the milk because there is no milk in this. Well, let's smell the, uh, the hot version. Don't throw oh, you just sipping it. Smell it, right? Oh, Ooh. Like you know what it smells like now? Oh, what are you going to now? You were books before. What, what is it now? Books. Yes. Ready? Yeah. Books dropped in a chemical vat. Well, what, what what sort of chemicals are you talking about? Do you smell that? This has like a more kind of a processed taste, a smell, sorry. It, do, it doesn't feel, even though I'm sure it says natural on the, the product, it doesn't feel natural. It feels like there's a lot of acids and... and it feels like there's no, you know what, this Cafix one feels like it's got to be more natural. It does feel like that, it does. I'm just trying to see. Well, this has got the only natural things in here. It's got nothing else, it says. I'm absolutely shocked by this, Pero. It, this faux crema. Yeah. Look at that on mine. Yeah. That's kind of scary. How do they do that? It's weird. All right, let's take a little sip okay, here. Okay. Okay, you know what? It's not as bad as I was expecting. It's bad, though. You know, it's weird. So this Cafix... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what are you woofing about? <laughs> it's, it's like... Ooh. ooh, it's not good. No, it gets worse kind of as it goes down your throat. Wow, yeah, is it? Oh, my... Yeah, oh, I think, oh. you know, it's got chicken and rye here, but I think it's, it, it's the barley that's coming through, it's which is not something I would just suck on a barley. <laughs> it's just nothing I've thought of doing before. No. <laughs> Going um, out to a paddock and field and oh, is, sucking we, on the barley. I oh, is, where's Paul? Oh, he's sucking on, on the, the barley. barley. <laughs> oh, he's having a pyro. <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's almost, it, there's almost like a acidity to it as it hits your throat a little bit. Almost like somewhat of a kind of like, yeah. It's Did kinda, you say this was good for people with acid reflux? Oh, one of them said that, but... I feel like it's giving me acid oh, reflux. Oh, no, yeah. Oh. It doesn't say. It just, just it's great uh, prebiotic. It's great for the digestive system. It provides a mild buzz so you can have it afternoon or evening without disrupting your sleep. I don't I think, know if it's great for anything. I mean, well, I might wake up with this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, like, it's like ammonia. Yeah, a nightmare of ammonia. It tastes like there's some got to be some kind of chemical in there. I, well, I, well, it's not any chemical. I think it's just those particular natural products of barley and rye. It's it's, it's not good. It's not coffee. It's mm. not coffee, Reed. So, Dad, here's the real deal. Whoa, Scale I know you're going to... One to five. I'm going to go flat line again. Zero. Because this does not taste like coffee at all. I like like this one more, the flavor, than the Pyro. But you know neither what? of them had coffee. I feel a bit sick. Okay. What have we got for the last one here? Oh, I... T Chino. I'd never heard of this one before. Now this is a coffee substitute, right? It it says caffeine free acid roasted herbal or herbal tea. Uh somewhere uh yeah. Whether you drink tea or coffee, mm-hmm. you'll love tea chino, robust flavor that fans describe as smoother, richer, and creamier than coffee. Well, and I'd just like to point something out. I'm gonna show this to the camera too so that mm-hmm. everybody can see it. But it says Dandelion Dark Roast. That's an interesting combination. But there's no coffee in here. Yeah. This is the herbal tea that tastes like coffee. So they're trying to 
it feels like the marketing team is trying to make you think coffee, but it's not coffee. They want you to think it's coffee, but they don't want you to think it's coffee. It's it's an interesting thing that's going on. I definitely on here. want it as a substitute. Let's let's get this brewing and then I we'll like have... the packeting. Yeah, the packeting it's it's the packeting? Like packeting. Is that a word? Packaging. Packaging. Um it looks like a tea bag. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Organic? Mm, no caff. Doesn't look bad for tea. All right, let, well, let, oh, 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 oh. Yeah, oh, oh. let's just smell it while it's in here. Ooh, what does that smell like to you? Dandelion. <laughs> no, it's got a honeyness to it. Almost like a raisin. Yeah. Raisin and honey. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's... Again, how much of that smells like coffee to you? Oh, it, it, it doesn't. I mean, look at what it <laughs> says here. It says carob, chicory, dandelion root. Ramen, ramen, sorry, seeds, and natural coffee flavor is in this. What is natural coffee flavor? Hmm. <laughs> Processed and machinery that also processes, processes almonds. My, oh, it's a bit dangerous. Dang, living, living dangerously. I'm putting Look at that. Up. It's a tea bag. So while we're brewing this, Dad, do you have any more facts on this one? Oh, I, if, I, I actually didn't have many facts on this. Other than this, in, oh yeah, what do you got? Intense. Deep coffee notes. Ooh, that's a bold fla- That's a bold statement. From roasted uh, ramen seeds, dandelion, chicory roots, unsweetened. Do you feel sick at the moment a little bit, like in the stomach? N- no. While we're waiting for this to brew, Dad, can you give us a little, a uh, little bit information on you know why these thing, kind of things? Yeah, exist? yeah. I, I looked it up just today, actually. I be honest with you, I hadn't really looked you up. You mean this before. you hadn't looked up fake coffee before? <laughs> no, I don't. I know. don't believe uh, it. I'm, I'm sorry, I've really ruined things. <laughs> but uh, it, it's come from things of what I was reading, like World War Two, where they didn't have. They were somewhere, and they didn't have access to coffee, mm-hmm. uh, so they may do, and good on them. They may do with things like acorns, acorn coffee. I don't know what that tastes like, uh, but a big one was the uh, roasted chicory and grain, which is a lot in these products that we're looking at. Well, and it, I mean, we, we talk about how much of the process or how much processing there is, how much there is in the supply chain, how much, you know, just there's so many moving parts mm-hmm. during a war. Those are that's a lot of things to consider that are challenging enough on their own, regardless of war. Yeah, it's uh, and you make do, uh, which isn't that where Cup of Joe came from? I actually don't. I don't know where Cup of Joe came from. I think it was the GI Joe, the Army, and the American, um, uh-huh. and they started sending them instant coffee. I don't think they sent them Piro or Cafe or whatever. That's good. <laughs> they, I think they sent them actually real instant coffee in those days. That's sort of part of the popularity where that came from. But we'll see. Interesting. I read this is interesting. With it. it's this particular website said it yeah. started in 1895 1895 it was further back than i thought and a, a millionaire seventh day adventist called cw post Ooh. he decided to visit the health sanitarium run by you'll know this name j w kellogg oh frosted flakes that's the one <laughs> so cornflakes, I would call them, but um you were never allowed frosted flakes no <laughs> it's too much sugar uh but before he went on to make great nuts that you I had heard of, mm. but uh, he he combined a toasted wheat bran and molasses, which I think did you mention that before molasses? Yeah. To create postum, which is another one that we don't have here today, partly because they discontinued in two thousand and thirteen. Interesting. But it's just come back on the market. Actually, I heard that too. So there it's is interesting that something like that would come back on the market. It you know it's probably to do with health. It's probably to do with uh you know some of the things I looked at the beginning. If you feel you're addicted to coffee, you lucky thing. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I would say. But there is addiction, and that that's not good. Uh, insomnia. You have concerns there. You have medical blood pressure, insulin resistance, uh, anxiety. But here's some interesting. Perhaps economically, you can't afford a coffee, and that's that's a possibility that's a for fair, a lot of people in the world. How, are these cheap, Dad? They were uh, from memory around about nine, ten dollars American. And how many cups of this? Thing? It's quite a few cups in there. Well, so it's it says a hundred servings per container. So there so you if go. you if you're thinking a hundred cups of so it's ten cents a air quotes a coffee that is a lot cheaper. Yeah, a yeah, lot true, cheaper. true. Religious really, I haven't thought of this one actually, but religious yeah. reasons was another big one out there. Oh yeah, yeah that certain, makes sense. Certain religions you don't drink coffee. 
Um, and it's just not available in some places. You can't get coffee, in, like we're saying, the war or other places right now in the world can't get coffee. Right. We're so fortunate to get it. Uh, you start looking at these sort of things. Well, and I think something to consider with these is these are not a coffee replacement. I agree. They're not really much of a substitute. They're more of just a different drink instead of coffee. You know? Yeah. Let's go ahead and sniff. Sniff. This. Ooh. That's, that's quite, quite a different flavor to the other two. Probably the worst smelling so far. Between this and the Pero. Oh, now, I think, what, what I kind think, of sauce does that smell like? Man, you've got all the descriptive stuff. Sometimes you have it at, uh, with sushi. Oh, oh, you thinking? Soy sauce? Yeah. Yeah, it could go. See, I actually like this more than the, the Pero, actually. Why Now, why do you like it more? Because I don't... I, I, oof. I think it's not so artificial perhaps i'm going to be wrong perhaps that's fair the, it doesn't taste as chemically no it's got i, I guess it's the dandelion in it it mm. makes it a little more something that i could get a hold of and say i could drink this it's not coffee no it doesn't smell like coffee it's not tea but right. it's something that the other ones i go oh i'm not sure i think i could get used to this more quickly right okay well let's 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 slurp it not too don't burn yourself i definitely don't enjoy it well, funny enough, I do. Really? It's got a body that I like. You know, it's funny. Like, it does have a little bit of a herbal yes. tinge to it, like a tea. And being quite an avid tea drinker as well as coffee drinker, I I sort of like this substitute than the other two. I'm surprising myself here. It definitely has a tea sense to it. It does have a tea sense to it. Okay, then. I'm, I think I've got some. I think. Wow. You know what? Yeah. I, I think I'm going to give this a one. Well, you're really going out there, aren't you? I'm going out on a limb. Because I think it, yeah. it's, it's got... Okay. Now, for yeah. everybody who's going to think all of a sudden it tastes like coffee, it does not. Well, that's where you've got to be careful. I think the zero for coffee taste, because it doesn't taste anything like really? coffee. Oh, yeah, I suppose. Actually, I can't... It's got just a yeah. hint. Yeah, yeah. okay. Compared to the others, you're right. I think one. It's terrible, in my opinion. Well, it's terrible if you're after a coffee. Yes, that's true. It's terrible if you're after... It's terrible coffee. I would think if you're looking for a herbal herbal tea, this is not a bad one. It almost tastes similar to black tea, like straight black but tea. But it also tastes similar to some other the herbal teas out there that you could get. That it, It's it's in, in the realm of, this is drinkable. You can always tell because I've had about four sips of this. I'm shocked. I know, me too. I'm very surprised. It's not a substitute. I'm not going to suddenly stop drinking coffee, though. No, absolutely not. Because this is not the substitute for me. But I really like its body, its thickness. It does have a good body. Yeah, I'm amazed by that. And the aftertaste is not bitter. It's got a sweetness to it. Almost a little barley kind of a taste. A little bit, but a sweet barley. Yeah. It's interesting. I think out of the, all the ones, the one I could drink the most would be this first one, the Cafix. Yeah. I think the one I could drink the most would be this one. Well, I think we're in agreement then that the one we could drink the least of is this one. Yeah. Which Ugh. is interesting. But in general, they're all pretty terrible for coffee for substitute. For coffee substitute. Right. I think for other reasons, I would say for me, if we gave us a one compared to the zeros we gave for that one, well, right. that was for the coffeeness, but... If you were going to look for a flavor that you enjoyed, forget the coffee. Yeah, I would go for the Cafix. That's right. And what what number would you give the Cafix? If you go zero, zero is absolutely disgusting taste. Two, two. Because it's got yeah. a it's got a sweetness to it that mm -hmm. it's kind of like. I go for three drink. for this one. Really? It's just because you can have that one. I thank you very <laughs> much. I think I brought it actually. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Well, and I mean, I, I guess that kind of sums up our coffee wow. substitute episodes. One thing that I had thought was if anybody out there has a coffee substitute that is yes. something from their region, something that they think we should taste, let us know what it is because we would like to try maybe another episode on coffee substitutes with stuff that we don't, no, we don't, don't know, know here. About. So if you have any of those, let us know. Go to beanstuff.com. All our contact info is there. Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, um, also Subscribe to the podcast. Get these episodes for free, downloaded every single week. Um, and don't miss a single one. Also, there's an email list you can sign up for where you get free emails that just basically have a little link to the podcast, the video, the description, all the helpful stuff. So um, let us know. Subscribe. Sign up. And uh, have a great rest of the day. 